Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center. Losing my voice a little bit, but I'm coming at you from the Blade Show. We're here to meet Artisan Cutler and CJRB with Russell what again. Up? Hello. How are you, my friend? Good to see you in person. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a, it's been a little <laughs> it's been bit. A bit. Um, we've got a nice, uh, concise set of offerings today mm -hmm. uh, to go through. I'll, leave, I'll let, it, let it be to you. Let, All right, so let's start off with something that we just got out just a few weeks ago. This is the titanium version of the Arian. Full tie scales, nice bit of micro milling on here. We actually bead blasted the blade a little bit to give it a, just a little bit of extra kind of, you know, that nice even coloring. Mm -hmm. And this is just as good as the micarta version. I love this as a flicking knife. Feels great in hand. The extra weight brings us to a uh, 4.5 ounce knife versus the 3.5 ounce with the micarta, which for some people is like, oh, that's a little hefty, that's a little heavier, but I think it's just about right for the size of this with that um 3.75 inch blade mm -hmm. the size and weight work really well yeah I, I like that just tiny bit of back weight it's got a slightly heavier back end and it feels a bit more balanced in the hand if you like something that kind of has a lighter feeling blade and a slightly heavier handle um, i like it personally i love the micarta version but this one kind of has gotten my heart because i'm actually carrying one on me right now yeah yeah and this is just it's such a good knife the, the profile it's such is great a, it's such a good working shape to it the is. blade the titanium feels, it, it feels more right to it me is. somehow, like with, with this design, it feels more it's very in clean. place than It's the, very than clean. The and that's kind yeah. of our, our theme this year with what we have is clean. It's just a nice shape, a nice functional knife. And with the full tie, it kind of brings together that, that kind of like normalized high-end knife feel. Yeah. yeah. But it's not a bad thing. It's great. I love it. I absolutely yeah. love this. And I love that we were finally able to get this out. Chris has been really happy with it. We also have a OD Green Micarta version available with the bead blasted blade and then the standard uh, uh, double coral Micarta with the satin finish blade, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all of which are pretty sweet. Yeah, no, it's a great working profile to the blade. You got plenty of belly for slicing. You got the acute tip and a nice handle that's gonna fit just about everywhere. It's awesome. Yeah. No, it's a very cool knife. So that is out now. That is currently available as of like uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, so it's yeah. just in time for Blade Show. Next, we have a modification to something you saw previously. So you saw the original Silax, mm -hmm. the one from Dylan Mallory, wonderful fixed blade, great camp kitchen knife. We did a little tweaking to it. We wanted to get it done for Blade Show, but we figured we might as well do it right before, you know, just putting it out in its current configuration because it had a few minor flaws that some people didn't like. Some so things you wanted to just it was, so tweak a little bit. We did a little bit of alteration to it. This is the current version of the Silax. We dropped the blade down a bit, gave it a bit more belly, a bit more curvature, widened the choil up a little bit, just because, you know, Dylan's got tiny hands and the average human being like you does not. Slightly larger than hey, We've heard that a few times. <laughs> but this is just, it's just such a nice camp knife. Oh, and one more important thing. We have switched this over from the Artisan brand to the CGRV brand. It's gonna be about the same price, give or take, maybe a few dollars less, hopefully. But that's mostly just kind of to spread it out across the brands because CGRB does not have a fixed blade yet. And we figured this is a good entry point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So give that one a handle because I'm sure you'll feel the difference more yeah. than see it. I remember the prototype and it didn't have a ton of clearance right. here. And yeah, this is better. Yeah, this is better. That's, that's kind of just enough mm -hmm. to, to do the cutting board work a little more, exactly. a little more better, as they say. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so we got that aggressive tip. Camp sushi knife. We'll say that, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And since that is an AR RPM 9, I actually have been using mine in the kitchen for six months. I've actually dipped it in vinegar. I have rubbed mm -hmm. it down with lemon juice. I've been cutting meat and potatoes and all sorts of things that would normally leave a really nasty patina on carbon steel knives or even some of the more, uh, we'll say, lower carbon stainless knives. The RPM 9 has held up really well. Granted, mine is scratched to hell, beat up, and mm -hmm. I think I, I dropped it on the floor, so I chipped the tip. But you know what? It still works great. Also, yeah. that ground out really easily. I will say that <laughs> resharpening it has been a breeze. One thing I, I noticed as well versus the uh, the one I saw previously is you mentioned the belly. It's a little more curvature. Yes. But importantly, here at the heel. Yes. Which, exactly. as, as a kitchen guy, as, as a kitchen knife fan, one of mm -hmm. the things I always look for is that rock right there. The garlic chopping motion. Yep. So I mean, you have just enough clearance and just enough belly to pull it off. Mm -hmm. Not as your, the one you're going to do every day but you can do it. Yeah. yeah, and at the same time, this is still a perfectly good backpacking knife. If you like the profile, you want a longer blade that is lower profile, this is a great option to take camping, even if you're not gonna do cooking. Mm -hmm. You get something that has a lot of blade, it's relatively thin and light, it's not gonna be something that's gonna be your heavy, hardcore, like wood splitting alternative. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not, you know, a BK, uh, what, BK2, Yeah. but this is a cutter. Yeah. And if you need that option for traveling, or backpacking, or camping, this is cool. And as a kitchen knife, okay, yeah, yeah it works yeah. perfectly well. 
Kydex sheath for this? Yes, we're yeah. getting that Kydex done, and hopefully we should have these out soon. Excellent, very nice. I, it's those those tiny little details that take something mm -hmm. from pretty good to very good, and yes. this I really like the improvements it on is, this. It's, yeah. it's a nice change. It is a very welcome change, and I think it just made something that was already a really good knife into something that is distinctive and great. Yeah, no, very well done, yeah. I like it. All right, more Mallory stuff, more Dylan Mallory stuff. So this one is an oddball. This is the Small Centros. This has been in the works for a while because it's just been kind of a hard one to get out there because, well, the regular Centros is already a good seller. It's been a great knife, a lot of people love the size, but Dylan really wanted a small version. And you know what? This is just a perfect size. And I've had a lot of guys come by who have like big old, big old meat bits. And they're just like, oh, this can't be like, oh, that's comfortable. Because it's got this, double, it's got a two-finger troll here. And you know, so I got plenty of space right there. I have, you know, medium-sized hands. This is really comfortable. On top of that, we wanted to do this in Dylan's preferred color method. So, black blade, black micarta, tie clip. That's micarta, not G10? Surprisingly, yes. It's actually uh, very nicely polished out. Very finely finished, And yeah. then a tie, uh, tie pivot collar. And we're going to change the screws here to black to kind of match everything else. But it really has a very distinctive color scheme. And with the size, it's so small. It's the same blade size as the Rhea, but it doesn't feel like it. Mm -hmm. It feels like a much more, I can't say more capable knife, but it really locks into the hand a lot better. Well, the, speaking of the Rhea specifically, the main difference here is you actually have that finger yes. guard in this case, yes. which does change the feel of the knife significantly. Mm -hmm. It gives you a little more feeling of security. Yes. If you're gonna take your small knife and you, you need to push it a little harder, mm -hmm. a little bit bigger than you would normally gives you that. But it feels really good. And I just love the way that the profile of this really is, it's such, it's a Dylan design. It's a Dylan Mallory design. It's very distinctive. And I think the small version of this, more than the big one, really is like, it's, this is a classy carry. Yeah. This makes something that is already a fairly like classy, cool knife, even a little big into a genuinely gentleman knife that can work in a multitude of situations. I think the same thing about the, uh, the big and small versions mm -hmm. of the Arkea. Yes. Small versions where it's at. Oh yeah, for me, they're like it's kind of my big version's carry fine, too. but the small, the small yeah. version, like the design works it's even elegant. better at it's the smaller elegant. size. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Very that nice. is these small centros. We'll see how that Very one works nice. out for us, but we're pretty happy with the way that turned out. I know Dylan's really happy with it. A few different colors will come out, I'm sure. Oh yeah. 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 If you're not in a fan of but the this all is black the color. this is the Dylan Mallory colorway. Dylan this is Mallory's what he special. wanted. Yeah. No, it looks very nice. It's the, uh, the, just the little bit of tie there, the yes. little bit of gray. It's pretty nice. Someone's going to really want to anodize that. I know someone's, the first time this comes out, someone's going to be like, I anodize this blue. It's like, that looks amazing. <laughs> we knew it would look amazing anyway. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's go into something a little wild color, a little wild looking, but not wild design. I, I think this is probably my favorite thing so far this year. I am very excited about I, this. I think I would agree with you. Actually. Yeah, this yeah. is so cool. All right, why don't you pick that one up? This is the Scoria. We have a few versions here. We're kind of figuring out what we want to do with it. We want to do Contour G10, if we want to stick with the carbon fiber, we want to do this crazy looking micarta. But this is a, all right, so in pictures, I don't think this knife is really going to demonstrate how cool it is mm -hmm. because this thing is insanely thin and light. Yeah, let me just, let me just do a profile yep, shot. Yep. This thing is super thin and it just melts into the hand. Also, we put a full-size finger troll, a, a, a real human-size finger troll on this guy. I kind of want to widen it a little bit. It's a little tight for my fingers, tight. but we I, might, my we fingers might are widen out a bit more. A bit on the fat side. But this is just such a great user because it has everything on it. I, I almost like think of this as a data-driven knife. This is everything that people say they want on a folder. You got thumb size, you got a flipper, you got a choil. I mean, if we put a front flipper on here, we'd be covered for everything. And it's got this nice contour handle. It's got a lot of like this. I, I like I like to say I like knives with big butts, and I cannot lie, because this has a lot of grip in the back end, and it gives you a very solid, secure purchase. Even though this is a very thin handle, and thin blade stock too. Very this, thin this blade is stock. A gr like an everyday slicer. I mean, you you know I love a oh, drop yeah. point. Oh yeah. And I love a thin drop point on the uh, the medium size knives. Speaking it's to me. So thin. It's yeah. so thin and so slicey. But I like that we kept the tip kind of teardrop shaped, so it's not really, really needle thin. But it's but got, still plenty of points. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's got just a good bit of like, it's just got more curvature. Because I was expecting this to come out with a lot more kind of like a fine point to it. Mm -hmm. That kind of makes sense for this profile. It's yeah, meant yeah. to be thin and light and easy to carry. It's like, no, no, we put plenty of blade on here. 
It's a great slicer, and I also love this green accent. It shows a bit, a bit better on the carbon fiber. Yeah, yeah. I would but that say. green accent, we haven't used that color before, and honestly, I was sitting there going, eh, kind of polarizing. No, people love it. It's, it's really I'm good. into it. And I have to say, the contoured version. This is wild. This one, the flat, not so much, but the, the contoured yeah, one is yeah. like, as soon as you hold it, you it, have that feeling where you go, yes. melts. Yeah. I love yeah. knives that have good candles. I love good ergos. This, I, I actually prefer knives with less choils, like less contouring to the handle, mm -hmm. fewer choils. Uh, I, I am gonna make an exception to this because it really just, it's in the hand, it feels yeah. secure, it's comfortable, and it's just like, it's a tool that just feels like an extension of the body. Yeah, and with a shape like this too, any hand size. Exactly. Because you're gonna be able to tail off the back end there exactly. very easily. It's yes. good, it's yeah. good. The feel on it is great. You get a contoured, comfortable handle without it being bulky, and you get that nice thin blade. It's a winner. So good. Yeah, now that's a real winner for sure. Also, we did make sure, so uh, I mentioned to you earlier, the scoria is a type of rock that, uh, it's a volcanic rock that cools in the air upon entry back onto the, uh, the surface of the planet. So it develops a lot of holes in it, and it becomes very light, sometimes light enough to float in water. So. In the theme of that, we have drilled the heck out of the inside of this thing, so it is super lightweight. Yeah, there, there's almost nothing to that. It's I, so I don't cool. have a, a good palm scale yeah. going on, but what, what's the weight you think on, on this yeah, guy? Yeah, two point something. It's it's a very comfortably lightweight. Yeah. I wish I had a scale here too. I'm just guessing at this yeah, one because yeah. I just saw those yesterday. <laughs> but no, the, the feel, the feel on the contour version especially is so good. Is money. That's fantastic. <laughs> Very nice. Very all nice. right, all right. So now we go on to the cool one. This one is a, uh, this one's a project we have, we've been working on for a bit. This is I'm sure you can just, you can tell who the, who the designer is on this one. Why don't you tell me? Yeah, another Ray Laconico. Yeah, another, I said it. Yep, Same yep, time. Yep, Same yep. Time. Ray has been very happy with the Centauri. We've been very happy to work with him. He is a fantastic. He is a really fun guy to talk to. He's just like he loves his designs, and we really like working with him because if he makes something. It's very well thought out. It's just like Ray can just draw something. You're like, oh, that's perfect. Right. It's like, yeah, I know. It's like, she's okay, cool. I'm Ray Laconico. I know. Yeah, pretty much. He's really, he's really cool. He's really cool. <laughs> I've not had the pleasure. <laughs> so anyway, we're still running these by him for the final production. We made two versions of this knife. This is the Sirius, and we wanted to do something a little bit different than the Centauri, a little bit more gentlemanly, a mm -hmm. bit more sleek, and this is kind of going to be another... Well, it's another Ray Conoco front flipper. And I think we kind of have a lock on the Conoco front flippers with the Centauri, but this has some slick action to it. Really great profile. It has that, that signature little uh, chamfered groove in there. Mm -hmm. Clean tie clip, blind screwed in, so all you really get is just that, that little bit of the clip. Yeah, very clean look on And this that. very, just, it's an elegant blade. Just swedge on top, ground thin. Oh, we got a little jimping right here and on the back to just ensure you have a nice solid grip while you're holding up here. So kind of that, that pinch grip up top. I but, also like to say that's always good too if you're yes. if you're not looking at the knife, you have that feel for the index yes. and you know you're not getting too close to Especially because it's a very like clean angled yeah. knife, so just straight angles. Yeah. But we did two versions. Now we, we're trying to kind of get a feel for what people like here. So we have a version that is a Micarta liner lock. So this one is a liner lock, steel liners, double-sided Micarta, uh, tie clip, and an RPM9 blade, or possibly an S35, depending on production, we'll see, we'll see, we'll talk to Ray. And this one has a thumb stud, so this way you get that nice flicking action and the front flipper. And then we have the hyper clean version in full tie, full uh, micro mill tie, with just the front flipper. Yeah, no thumb so, stud, keep the blade a little cleaner looking. Yeah. Frame lock on the back. It's a nice one, and honestly, it's, a lot of people seem to like the thumb stud. I know Ray's been talking about this because he wanted something that's a bit more budget friendly. But uh, the people that like the tie one are very vehemently about this all tie, super clean, no extra things, no frills. Yeah. And it is, again, with the theme of this year, clean. This is clean, it's elegant, it's straightforward, and it really has a nice, like, it, you look at that, it's like, that's Laconico. Yeah. That's Ray Laconico, that is his design, and it just hits right there. This one, that, that thumb stud, is something he really wanted, and I think it worked out really well. But I think it's just like, it's, it's a lot more utility. And I think so far this seems to be the winner of what people seem to like. But you know, I, I the, keep coming back to this here. Let, the let's let's, let's, let's the, switch. Let's switch. Yeah, the cleanliness in the closed position, especially, is oh, quite yeah. nice looking. It's just very elegant. Yeah. But once again, 
Ray knocks it out of the park. It's an amazing design, and um, hopefully we'll have these out fairly soon. Yeah, I'm really excited yeah. to get these out because really this cool. is this is something to add to our line that is just gonna just add a bit more class. Once again, the Centauri added some class, now we're just gonna add a bit more. Yeah, and I love the Centauri. Too. Oh yeah, oh, got yeah. some good projects in the works. Oh yeah, a little sneak peek. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, but no, this uh, if I were to pick a winner today, the Silax and the Scoria. Fair enough. Like that, the contour score. It's so cool. Contour. So good. Contour them. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. I got you. No, that is a fantastic review. Excellent. That's well, that's we all the time we've got for you, uh, or all the knives we've got time to show you today. <laughs> um, as I said, a lot of these are protos. Some of these are, uh, are just hitting our shelves. So we'll leave a link below to our Artisan Cutlery and CJRB pages if you want to check out what's available now. And keep sticking around for more Blade Show coverage. Russell. Dude. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure.